Uh, and we got to find out what the hell went on here. Uh, it was a better than expected third quarter, uh, but people are saying that the forecast was light. I question that, but that's okay because we've got Lisa Sue here who knows a heck of a lot more about the company than I do. Lisa, in G well, first of all, welcome. Fantastic. You're great. All right. Good morning. Good morning. How yeah. are you guys? I am good. Okay, let's get right to it because people really, uh, they're concerned. I'm not using the word frightened because we'll save that for Halloween. At the beginning of the year, you said you'd do $2 billion in AI, and you did $5 billion. Now you do five. Like going down. At the beginning of the year, your stock was at 154. Now your stock is at 153. How is it possible that you could be get be offering two billion as your forecast, Here, then do five billion, and your stock is unchanged? Would you please explain to me that? You're better at math. You went to Bronx Science. First of all, uh, it's good to see you guys this morning. Look, we had a very strong third quarter. If you looked at the overall growth, we grew 18 percent year over year. Uh, we had a very strong data center quarter. We had a very strong server quarter. We had a very strong um, AI quarter. And we actually, as you said, we raised our guidance uh, from uh, four and a half billion of AI revenue to greater than five billion of AI revenue for 2024. So overall, lots of positives. And, you know, look, this is a long term growth story. You know that when we we think about, you know, the massive demand that there is in the data center for both AI and traditional compute. You know, we are one of the very, very few players that can offer all of the different compute capabilities that are required. So, you know, from that standpoint, I think, uh, you know, we feel very good about where we are. Going into the end of the year, we're going to grow in the fourth quarter um, at our guidance, 22 percent year over year. And that's all about, you know, growth in data centers, growth in servers, growth in um, AI and also growth in uh, PCs. So those are all um, positives that we see in the business. Now, uh, PC and server incredibly strong. I see you taking incredible share. Thank you from another company that at one time well, I met you when your stock was at four and they were at 50. You told me to get out of the 50, go to four. You're taking share from that company, aren't you? We are having a very strong CPU cycle, I can say that. You know, we just launched our Zen 5 processors, strongest portfolio, uh, you know, we've had uh, overall. Um, you know, we are firing on all cylinders. When you look at, you know, this traditional server market, we're starting to see refresh cycles, actually, in both cloud and enterprise, and that's showing through uh, in the overall demand. And, you know, we also have, you know, a very strong portfolio when you look at, you know, the AI market as it relates to PCs. So that's another uh, nice growth vector for us. And we're at the very, very beginning of that cycle as well. One of the reasons that we own your stock for the Chapel Trust and have for some time is we are firm believers that AI is so big that it's not just uh, that actually has room for two players, that it's not just Jensen Wong and then nobody. Uh, could you make the case that actually you are a strong number two and getting stronger? Yeah, absolutely. Look, I am a huge believer in AI. This is really the beginning of, you know, what I like to call it an AI super cycle. We believe AI is going to be in every aspect of computing, whether you're talking about, you know, the large clouds, enterprises, or you're talking about the edge, or you're talking about, you know, PC clients. And you need all different sizes of compute for that. And that's exactly what we have. You know, we're at the beginning of the cycle. And, you know, as uh, we said at the top of the program, you know, we started with our MI300, uh, you know, AI GPU, you know, just about, you know, 10 months ago, we announced it in December of last year. We said, hey, you know, we think revenue will be about two billion. And we, we, we knew that this is at the very beginning. But we've had just uh, incredible partnerships across all of, you know, the cloud, uh, the largest hyperscalers. Uh, we made great progress with Meta, with Microsoft, with Oracle, with a number of AI players. And we're going to continue to do that, you know, going forward. So I think AI is really at the beginning. And, you know, our goal is to be a a, a very, very strong overall uh, compute uh, provider into that space and really partnering with the largest uh, you know, vendors in, in, the, um, in the industry.